Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, August the 18th, 2021. It's the first Wednesday of the fall semester for 2021. And given the couple of years we've been through it, it feels like the first Wednesday of the first week of school ever. But anyway, um, it's been a great week, although it's been kind of a hectic week because we've had so much rain because of that, you know, tropical storm, depression, whatever it was by the time it made it here, uh, pretty much rained on our parade. So, um, if you've been missing us out in front of the building on campus, we're going to be out there this afternoon and then hopefully tomorrow if the rain holds off again. And then we're going to have our open house, which we should have had Monday, but it got rained out. We're going to have it Thursday, tomorrow night, rain or shine. So stop on by. You could win a TV. It's a really nice TV. It would actually make an awesome extension monitor for your computer. So anyway, today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 101, 1 Kings 8, 1 through 21, Mark 8, 14 through 21, or you could have read Psalm 36, Genesis 47, 13 through 26, and then Mark 8, 14 through 21 again. I'm going to take a look at 1 Kings 8, 1 through 21 and talk about move-in day because <laughs> that's what everybody just got done doing, moving into campus and getting all their stuff situated and everything. And it's, you know, there's a lot of excitement when you're moving into a new place. Um, you, and there's just so much to do. It's also kind of a little stressful, you know, just nothing seems to be fitting right and going right. Um, you know, your friends and your family are there to help you move your stuff in. Um, and then you set it up, you get it set up just as you want it, right? You know, like the, you, you get it so like the poles are like kind of sticking out through the curtain just right. Um, that's a reference to today's text, by the way, if you didn't get it, it's okay. Um, anyway, but you set things up just the way you like it. And then when it's all done, you get to just spread out, fill up the place and make it your own. That's another reference to today's text. Um, because you're home to stay. And that's what's going on in the text here today is, um, Solomon has built this house for the Lord, uh, until then, God had pretty much been RVing it around the country, right, around the nation of Israel. Um, he would move around the country, stay in different places for a while. And we read a few weeks ago about how David brought the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. Well, so Solomon built him this house. David, his dad, had wanted to build this house for the Lord. But God was like, yeah, that's not really your job to do. I've got plans for your son to do that. So, but thanks anyway. And David, to his credit handled that well and so he did the next best thing he just started stockpiling stuff for the building um i mean solomon had to go out and buy a lot of stuff too but you know you can picture david you know and his white dad new balance and his jorts you know going picking through the two by fours at home depot to make sure he had all the straightest ones um that's a thing anyway but david even though he had wanted to build the house didn't get to build the house he contributed the best he could by clearing the way and preparing the way so his son could do it and do it really well. Um, and so now Solomon has taken all that and added to it. And now he's like turning the keys over to God and God has moved in. Um, and this is the interesting thing. Solomon did a lot to build this house, but um, he only, what he did was according to God's promise. He even makes the point of that, um, at the end where he's he like he addresses the congregation of Israel and talks about you know like hey I'm here today because God promised my dad this God set up my dad God promised my dad that I would do this God set me on the throne and that's why I'm here doing this today um so in fact um the home for God actually means more to Solomon. Uh, Solomon gets more benefit from it than God does because God's presence there in that house, in Solomon's backyard, or maybe Solomon's in God's backyard, God's very presence lends legitimacy to Solomon's rule and reign. Um, it's God, like Solomon needs God present. Israel needs God present there. God doesn't really need Solomon. Um, you know, God doesn't really need Israel. He wants them. That's a different thing altogether. Um, but Solomon needed God's presence. And, and that's a lesson Israel would have to learn over and over again. It's, an, it's a lesson that we have to learn over and over again. That if we're not feeling God's presence, um, maybe we should pay attention. Maybe either we're the ones that are at the loss. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Get out, enjoy the dry weather while you can. Talk to you later. Boop.